Hey, what's up guys, it's me Jake and welcome to the third part of making the ski track. So I'm gonna start this episode with firstly making some rear legs and suspension system. As you can see, I already cut a few steel leg mounts, but a harder and bigger challenge was to cut this car tire into a few centimeter wide sections that are gonna fit in between steel leg and a ski itself. Now I mark the center of each piece and cut off half of each side so I got a nice looking triangle that we're going to drill a center hole later on. After that I position two of those triangles on the center of 6 cm steel block and weld them in place. Now I disassemble the frame and cut off both legs at 30 degree angle. After that I again use some help of my welding magnet holders to accurately tack and weld both legs on previously made leg mounts. From the previous ski bike I remove both skis so I can mount them in the rear section of the ski bike. After that I paint all parts firstly with a metal primer and then apply a coat of black and yellow paint for final finish. I used a nitro based paint so I was able to assemble everything back together in just a few hours. Another thing I would like to mention is that I replaced 4 flat profiles with 4 L corner profiles. I mean it's nothing wrong with flat profiles, but corners is gonna ensure a better stability and less displacement when using the ski track. Ok guys, believe me or not, but this is probably one of the best things I have ever made in my life. I, I really can't wait to test it out on snow, so stay tuned and I'll see you next time from the ski resort.